Should Trayvon Martin's hoodie go on display? Right now it's being kept as evidence for a possible federal case against George Zimmerman. But the director of the National Museum of African American History and Culture, that's part of the Smithsonian, tells the Washington Post he'd like to have the sweatshirt. That's leading to a debate about what's appropriate to put on exhibit. Chip Reed is on the National Mall in Washington where that museum is being built. Chip, good morning to you. Well, good morning, Gail and Charlie. You know, the museum's director said he would like to display Trayvon Martin's sweatshirt or his hoodie because of its cultural significance. And if that does happen, it won't be the first time that a piece of evidence from an infamous criminal case was put on display in a museum, and it won't be the last. At the museum in Washington, D.C., visitors can actually look inside the Montana cabin where the Unabomber, Ted Kaczynski, assembled his explosives. It was in storage in California, uh, was brought here on a flatbed truck. They can also see the shoes worn by shoe bomber Richard Reed and the belts passengers used to restrain him on board the American Airlines flight he tried to blow up. But Trayvon Martin's hoodie probably won't be displayed in a museum anytime soon. Kelly Crow covers art for the Wall Street Journal. I think that the art world um, wouldn't um, probably be lining up for this, you know, to display tomorrow um, because it could be seen as a little exploitative. If the hoodie does end up in the African American History Museum someday, it would join a collection that already includes the handcuffs used on Harvard professor Henry Louis Gates, an arrest that led to the famous White House Beer Summit as well as artifacts belonging to Harriet Tubman, the former slave who led hundreds to freedom through the Underground Railroad. I think museums have always seen it as their mission to chronicle the human experience. And some museums define that, you know, in terms of famous paintings and sculptures, and other museums define that in terms of artifacts that, you know, uh, sum up the zeitgeist of a certain historical moment. Like the three-week killing spree in October 2002 when the D.C. area was terrorized by snipers Lee Boyd Malvo and John Allen Muhammad, the Law Enforcement Memorial Fund is building a museum in Washington that will eventually house their car, the rifle, and other items they used. But one famous cultural artifact that never made its way into a museum, the ill-fitting gloves O.J. Simpson famously wore in court. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. And even they were put on display for curious crowds at the Palms Resort in Las Vegas four years ago. Museums should chronicle the whole full sweep of, um, of history and not um, cherry pick sometimes um, just the good stuff. I think the bad stuff happened and it's part of the story and it should be included. And Gail and Charlie, as you can see behind me, construction of the African American History Museum still has a long way to go. It's not expected to open for another two years. That should give them plenty of time to decide whether Trayvon Martin's hoodie belongs here on the National Mall. All right, Chip Reed, thank you. I'd like to know what Trayvon Martin's parents feel about that. I think that's a very important part of that equation.